Oh, hi there. Welcome to another episode of the Okanagan Gardener and Forager channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about a plant that grows berries and those berries were described by some indigenous people as in BC as being the food of snakes. As it turns out, this plant has some edible and medicinal uses and I'm going to tell you about some of them. It's false Solomon seal. False Solomon seal, the scientific name is Myanthemum racemosum. This is a plant that grows from branching rhizomes so it can spread out and form colonies. And they grow an unbranched stem which can be one to three feet long and it has leaves on it that are alternate. And so that means they go up the stem one side, then the other, then the other. And the leaves themselves have long parallel veins running the length of them and the edges of the leaves are smooth and they are oblong to oblong or like elliptical shape and they're 5 to 15 centimeters long the base of the leaves clasp the stem so they wrap around the bottom of the stem often not always but usually that's the way i see them kind of wrapping around and they grow berries at the end before they grow berries, the flowers would be here, and they're kind of a creamy white color. And these berries, before, these aren't quite ripe. I'll try to, I think I'll put a picture here of some ripe ones. Um, but these unripe berries, they're green with some brown modeling on them. And uh, before they turn, before they get ripe. And there is a poisonous lookout, lookalike. It's called false hellebore. In the spring, it can look a lot like this one, so be careful. And it's in the early in the spring, it could be mistaken for it. And uh, there's two other related plants. There's starry Solomon seal and Solomon seal. And uh, they can be used, according to some herbalists, more or less interchangeably. And uh, the, But this one, false Solomon seal, is typically found in the west, you can, in the west, uh, western North America. And while the other ones, the, like Solomon seal, is usually found in the east. False Solomon seal are edible. The young shoots, the fleshy rhizomes, and the ripe berries were eaten by different indigenous groups across Canada. The young, the fleshy rhizomes could be cooked similar to potatoes, and the young shoots could be prepared similar to asparagus. And these berries are not ripe yet. When they're ripe, they're actually pretty good. They're sweet, and uh, but they have big pits in them, so you don't really get a ton of, uh, you know, flesh from them. I'll try these ones. Yeah. Not, uh... Not ready yet. I wanted to, I kind of wanted to wait until they, these were uh, ripe to film them, but I also wanted to, I was excited about finding this plant because uh, some of the medicinal uses I was uh, excited to learn about. I'll tell you about those in a minute, but I wanted to also film these, make this video now. It would have been nice to wait until the berries were all red, but uh, if you can see these ones, it's been so hot and dry. A lot of the plants, uh, I don't know, they're not looking so good. So anyways, that's why I'm here now. And now I'm going to tell you about some of the medicinal uses. False Solomon seal has some medicinal uses. It is, can be described as a cooling, it's demulcent and an expectorant. So a demulcent is something that is soothing to mucous membranes. So these properties make false Solomon seal potentially useful for treating things like sore throats, coughs, and helping to clear the lungs. Um, it has also been used to help repair joints and connective tissue. This is done by it lubricating and moistening the joints. And so by doing that, it can help restore alignment. And that could also relieve some pain that way. That was what I was most interested in. I feel like I have creaky joints, dry and creaky joints. So uh, for those actions, the sore throats and the sore joints, you could use a tea or a tincture from the roots. And the leaves of false solemn seal also have some uses. You can make a decoction from the leaves that can be used to treat itchy rashes. Like I said earlier, watch out for the uh, similar looking plant, the hellebore, uh, scientific name is I think Veratrum species, the lookalikes for false solemn seal, because they're poisonous, so watch out for those. Uh, one thing that I like to do with plants, if I'm especially if I'm not sure, is I try to like observe it throughout a year or so, like so I can see it in all growth stages. So then I can be really confident that I know what I'm dealing with. So 
you know, be careful. There are some poisonous plants out there. Uh, if you find the right one and you use it for what you want, you can use it for a very long time. Uh, but if you find a poisonous one, uh, maybe it's only one time using it and that'll be the end. So be, be sure you know what you're dealing with. Uh, anyway, um, if you like the video, then please give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching.